Over the next decade, nearly 3.5 million manufacturing jobs will likely be needed, and 2 million are expected to go unfilled due to the skills gap. Apprenticeships, a combination of paid on-the-job training and college-level classroom instruction, prepares the next generation of workers with 21st century skills for high-demand jobs. The Workforce Development Center, an AJAC participating employer, is a vocational training organization in Snohomish County, specializing in preparing at-risk and disadvantaged high school juniors and seniors for their journey into the workforce. My name is Haley Harris. I work for Workforce Development Center in Mecklenburg as a machinist. Hi, I'm Drew. Um, I'm a uh, machinist at Workforce Development. I've been doing this now for about three years and uh, I love it every day. Haley, a recent graduate from Stanwood High School, enrolled in the Workforce Development Center's machining program for her senior year of high school. As a trainee, Haley knew from an early age that she wanted to work in manufacturing. I was a shop rat in high school and I knew the one thing I wanted to do with my life was work with my hands, either welding or machining and just ended up happening through a program called the Workforce Development Center. Drew, a current apprentice in Ajax Machining Program, got his start in manufacturing at the Workforce Development Center. I grew up in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. I was raised there for about 23 years. Out of high school, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Uh, my dad lived here uh, almost all my life. I would come here on and off, and uh, you know, I was always looking for a career. And uh, he, he just convinced me one year to, to move out here and finally get started, and luckily things worked out. I got a job here at Workforce with no machining experience. Uh, they trained me, and now that I'm in AJAC, you know, I'm just continuing to grow my uh, skills. Dave Trader, CEO of the Workforce Development Center, understands the importance of providing young adults with job-ready skills, particularly for high-demand industries such as aerospace, which Dave says sells itself. I want to do it attitude, you know, I, I want to learn, I want to, I want to try it. It's, you know, a lot of the kids, when we interview them, it's aerospace, so they get really excited about it. Um, and it's different from mainline school, right? So they're, they're actually, we build real airplane parts. We don't practice on anything. We practice on the real thing, if you want to put it that way. But, and we do it very well. I think uh, what draws them, the, the, the counselors are the ones that actually pick and choose the students that come to our, our program. Um, we tour them around early, early in the year. Uh, they get a feel for it, and they get a they get to take a look at it. They make the decision that they want to proceed. From there, then it goes into that interview process. I think it's a lot of it's on them. But when they see what we do, and they see the machine shop, and they, they see us making parts, and they see those machines running, and they, and they see people their age running those that kind of equipment, that's the draw. Knowing that they're building something for a big airplane. And it's going to go on, some, on, an, on an airplane, I think that's the draw. The Workforce Development Center recruits from 36 different high schools while providing detailed learning plans for each student. Haley, who completed the Development Center's trainee program, continues to work full-time as a machinist, staying busy with every part she creates while learning the trade. The thing I most enjoy about machinery is constantly being busy. I purposely pick jobs, of course by due date, but Based off the runtime, I like shorter parts just so I can keep on loading, keep on loading, and then I can check and then load. It's just constantly being busy and constantly learning. Because every setup is different. Sometimes you have to dial in a hole, sometimes you have to dial in five vices together. It can vary from an easy setup or a more difficult, time consuming setup. And I like how it varies, but you're doing the same thing every day, you're making airplane parts. As an apprentice, Drew continues to grow his machining skill set, from understanding the shop math to setting up and programming machines. Ajax program provides Drew with a unique opportunity to learn from his classmates, who are also going through the same learning curves. What I like about being a machinist is that it's just very fun, it's entertaining, it's always a new obstacle, never repetitive, it's entertaining. I get to do so many different things all the time. Well in Ajax, I've learned a lot from basic setup skills to programming skills, uh, mathematical skills. I think most that I've gotten out of I really enjoy is our first like half hour of every class is I'm among peers, people who do the same thing I'm doing every single day and our instructors are so knowledgeable. We've been getting different types of material and I have questions how do I machine it like that, this. And so I like to talk amongst our peers, we exchange stories, 
uh, hints, tips, things like that. So I think that's all, that's awesome. Just to kind of hear the kind of things that they go through are similar to the experiences I'm having. So I feel like I'm not the only one who has these struggles. In just three years, Drew will complete Ajax's four-year machining apprenticeship program, signifying his mark as a journey-level worker. Becoming a journeyman to me would become a major milestone. I have accomplished something in my life that I can really be proud of and say that, hey, I'm a certified journeyman machinist. The Workforce Development Center is leading the charge in fostering young talent for Washington State's aerospace and advanced manufacturing workforce. Through the implementation of Ajax Apprenticeship Program, apprentices are given the tools to succeed through mentorship from experienced machinists. We hope they go on to aerospace jobs, but like we tell anybody, I mean, you can go on to anything you want to do. We want you to do what you want to do, right? Um, we gave you a year's worth of aerospace experience, so that's big at the age of 17, 18 years old. We worked in an internationally recognized organization that built airplane parts for the biggest airplane company in the world. You got a year's experience. You have not too many 17, 18 year olds can say that. So whether you take that and go to a different industry or a different job, that's fine. We'll help you in any way we can. But if you stick with Aero, we'll, we'll continue to help you as best we can too. So. The Workforce Development Center continues to empower disabled, at risk, and economically disadvantaged youth to complete high school and become self-sufficient, contributing members of society by teaching them essential life skills, work ethics, and vocational skills. Again, our, our big goal is to keep them in school. We want to see them graduate. We want to give them a good work ethic. We want them to be able to go out and get jobs, whether it's with us or with somebody else. Um, and we do it through the means of aerospace. Launch your career in aerospace and advanced manufacturing by visiting ajactraining.org forward slash getting started. AJAC, leading the way in aerospace and advanced manufacturing training.